As this character from Outcoming Cinematic looks over Los Santos, roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome to Advanced Scene Setup. We are doing conversations and what I'm doing here is showing you the basic conversation. You talk to yourself. You, so you just use the lip sync mod and you just hold it down and, and copy your lines. But that may not achieve the effect of this. That's what they say there. Okay. Because of the changing camera angles and two different clips, it's very hard to match up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the person who I want to talk second. And like that. So then I am going to start recording to all of the lines I want to do on that character. And when I want to switch to get a response, I do that and switch, and then I can continue talking on this character. And it'll be like a quick response. Um, you can't select them using the spooner mode, that little bit there, during recording because it will break. So unless you want to go through the menus, and if you've got a lot of, uh, if you've got a, bait, a very advanced scene with a lot of stuff in it, it can be very difficult to find the exact person. So you could mess around a bit, it's up to you. Moving on, we have animations whilst talking. It makes gives the character more life and doesn't seem so static and wooden. You can also put moods and facial expressions in, but that's basic. Uh, so we are gonna go select our animation to start with, just going through a few, because we're gonna talk to Michael with the ever-changing hair and invisible trousers. So we're just going to select the one we want, uh, I was a bit, for some reason couldn't find it. this one, this one will do. As a uh, menu uses it, it just loops constantly. So we're just going to go down to settings and remove it so it doesn't loop anymore. Uh, I just tinker around, you just shop to normal. And it will continue to loop until I reselect it. Because it's still stuck on the previous settings. So I just, re there you go. So it only do it once. It'll do it once and then it's good. So you can just start recording, play the animation halfway through, and just achieve something like this. Mr. Ichinawa, and this is my colleague, Yoko Takanoshi. Kanichiwa, right on. And there you go. That's basically it, really. You can put more in as well, give the character, but it's a bit, depends. You want to practice it before you re actually record it. Um, car chases, car chases are one of the most popular things of cinematics. I don't do them a lot because they're hard. Well, not hard, they're a bit boring after a while. I like to do remake stuff. So, uh, But there's some a little lesson I learned, especially because I play solo and I don't have local multiplayer. So I have to do everything myself and have. it's quite hard to get an AI to chase you. So you do. I do it myself. So I've got him a little ever-changing Michael once again. Uh, I'm just setting up a task, my task room. So I'm gonna make him get in the car then I'm going to make him follow me. Uh, just trying to find the task. There's a lot of tasks here. This is one of two ways. I'll explain the other way in a bit, but this is the best way. So I'm just selecting the vehicle. Uh, make sure he gets in the driver's seat. Uh, this is how I achieved the Dukes of Hazard and the Smoking the Bandit. So just setting up all the stuff so it makes him we can go to a high speed. That isn't high enough for the speed I will actually drive at, but that's a mistake I will find out in a minute. So I'm just setting the time so he doesn't just stop. So I'm in the car, activate the task, he gets in the car, and once he's in the car, you can start recording. And there, away we go. So you can see me driving, he's following me. I'm trying not to crash in the road and keep the camera on here, which is a bit hard. But yeah, you can see it's working. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I crash. But yeah, that is the first way of doing it. The other way is using making them become your companion. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, just by going through the entity menu and sector. You can be my companion. It's You have to kind of force them into the car. Because they will try to get into your car. It's good if you... Uh, they, they'll just follow you basically until a certain distance they'll break but yeah see they do stuff following but it's a bit the task sequences is better so we are going to try and move a static object like in this clip no! so we have an immovable object i.e. 
this portal loop and I want to make a fall over so you can manually do it but you want to get that motion and there's no animations for it so we're going to have to do it ourselves so what we've done we're just manually changing the position so it looks like it's moving just upping it a bit the sensitivity and look it goes around it, should, it will stick to its position so it's only you can't just make it like fall over anything you like you have to try and get the best yourself so uh, yeah, it can go backwards forwards and that's how we achieve that and you can still interact with the object like so see and I've got Michael here with the invisible trousers and the ever changing hair so crowds crowds are quite easy to make um, they just bit they can be big and take forever to do the quickest and easiest way is to use the companion which I took back brief a minute ago companion is good because it's one click of a button it's just in the options and basically they just follow you you can only have a certain amount of people max and if you change character anything if you change I think you can change your clothing but if you change models it will just break so you it's a good for a quick thing but if you use the task sequencing you can make them follow you forever basically but this is quite good for something doing quick especially if you've got a large group of diverse people that aren't like the same model so you can't just copy and paste it so I can just start walking I forgot to activate the person in the back that's my fault but yeah if I start running for some reason these don't run with me but the previous have like in this scene but here you go they start running so it's good you could one trick is you could have the per you don't you could use your per your character which you're controlling as like the head person ahead and have the actual people you want to film in the back so they're all lined up together in like a row like in this shot or you could just make them run with you like in the Deadpool scene from just now and that's pretty much it I see they still follow you even if you shoot that's pretty much it this has been advanced scene setup next we'll be current covering character customization and creating stuff like that. Uh, so that's all. If you have any issues or anything, just comment down below and I'll see what I can do.